Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I'm doing the highly, highly waited for uh, September's perfume talk and I know this is super late for me to be doing a perfume talk. Normally I'm doing them toward the beginning of the month but a lot's kind of happened in this last month and so on and so forth. So here I am finally doing it. So this one's a little bit different. I didn't do one for August. Last one I did was in July, and at that point I hadn't revealed to you guys the newer fragrances coming out, such as Sophia Vanguard Love, Jessica Simpson 10. All these things would have been revealed if I would have done an August, September, or August perfume top, but I never did. Um, so, new perfumes coming out. We still have the new Paris Hilton um, Eris Limited Edition that's supposedly coming. Hasn't been a whole lot of talk of it. Jessica Simpson 10, which is already out, as you guys know of, and I have, and will be reviewing, hopefully, relatively soon. I did, was going to review it a while ago, um, but then I uh, got sick and lost my voice and some other stuff and so on and so forth and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, um, going to be doing that soon. Also going to be doing um, Sophia Vengar Love review. Which, as you guys saw in my last video, I got in a swap with one of my friends. Speaking of my last video, with my swap with my friend Jesse. So I got, um... In there, you guys saw the candle casualty where the candle I got was broken. That candle was a Better Homes and Gardens, uh, pumpkin ginger cookie candle. And I told you guys I was going to fix it and how I was going to fix it. So I ended up going and getting... Three more, only needed two, but I ended up making this. So this is a humongous candle. It's shaped like a pumpkin, as you guys can see. It is a four wick pumpkin. That's how I made it. So four wicks in here. And literally all I did was took, melted down the old candles and then poured them directly in here. And I put the wicks in it and then let it solidify. So there was that. It was kind of a fun process that I really want to make some more big ones like that. Just because I think they're super cool. And bigger is always better in my opinion. Um, anyway. Um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about. And something a little bit personal. As you guys may have noticed. Um, I took a little bit of a break from my Riri review to my Ari review. And that was because right after my, Ari, my Riri review. I... Uh, Went and got some extensive dental work done. I've had um, really bad teeth all my life, and I had a partial before, and um, they were supposed to do some dental work with it when they got my partial that they never did, and I was never informed that they didn't do. And my teeth just got progressively worse due to them not doing the things they should have done when they gave me my partial. So that in turn had me get me more dental work done, and I now actually have a full set of dentures. I know I'm really young to have that. And it's something kind of personal to me. Um, so you guys know that you guys mean a lot to me. What I'm telling you guys personally about this. So as you guys notice. Teeth are really really white. Super straight now. Um, this is just my temporary set. Um, in January or February I'll be getting a permanent set. That um, is a little more form fitting than these are. These are looser fitting to deal with the swelling and the healing process and whatnot. Um, with that is getting used to talking and stuff. So I am talking a little bit different now. And I have a little bit of more of a lisp. Just because it's getting used to talking with these in my mouth. And it's not the easiest process. So definitely a little bit of getting used to. I'm very happy that it's finally done. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I won't have any more pain or anything like that. So... So on and so forth. Um, I've actually been requested numerous amount of times recently to do a another perfume collection video, which I will be doing at some point. I'm waiting for one more box to come. Um, I did a swap a while back with one of my friends. We finally finished it up, and I'll be getting that box relatively soon, um, hopefully. And once I get that, I'll do an unboxing of that and put everything away. And then shortly after that, I will do a updated perfume collection video for you guys and everything that's in this room and so on and so forth. So, um, 
I have seen a lot of YouTubers recently do, do, do Q&A videos. If that's something you guys would like me to do, go ahead and do the comment below. Or, um, and I'll try to get a Q&A video up. Along with my perfume collection video, do you guys want a Bath & Body Works collection video of everything I have Bath & Body Works? Yes, no, tell me in the comments below with that as well. Um, another cool thing, I'll insert a clip in here too about it. So, where I live, there's a historical house that just recently, um, got moved. The, they're wanting to, they wanted to build onto a parking lot and this house was in its way. And instead of just demolishing the house, for some reason the house has historical value. Who knows what the historical value is, but for some reason I felt that the open lot next to my house was a perfect spot for it. So they moved said house next door to mine. Not super happy about it. I've enjoyed the open lot next to my house as long as it's been there, and now it's gone. There's going to be a house right there. Not super happy about it, but here's a clip of that house being moved. It's definitely something kind of cool and definitely something different. It's not something you see every day to see that big of a house just move down the street. It was definitely really cool. I did, obviously didn't film the entire thing being moved from its other place to here. I filmed it going from the street up to the open lot. And then where it's sitting right now is an extra open lot. Um, the foundation's still forming and whatnot. And then they got to do some more stuff. And then they'll slide the house over onto its new foundation in a little while. So other than that new videos um you guys request videos and i will do my best to do them um on things i haven't reviewed things you want me to review comparison videos things i think smell similar i know last year sometime i did a perfumes that smell similar if you guys want me to do an update one on that i can do that not a problem um Not really a whole lot else I can think about that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, not super a lot of news for perfume recently. Um, things like Riri, Ari are now launched and available. Jessica Simpson 10 is available. Uh, Sophia Vangara Love is available. Um, uh, Sophia Vangara Love is available at Perfume Mania and HSN now. Jessica Simpson 10 is available at HSN. And other department stores such as Macy's, so on and so forth. Ari, obviously available at Macy's and almost every other department store I've seen. Being more the big box stores. Same with Riri. Um, available a lot of places. HSN, Macy's, so on and so forth. Um, we're getting now into more of the season where it's not going to be so many launches. As much as it's going to be gift sets and deals and so on and so forth. Um, Bath & Body Works just earlier this week announced um, their winter test candles are out now um, at select the test stores have their winter test candles out fall candles are slowly making their they're already are out I have some of them but they're more making their way out as the summer or the fall progresses um, other than that I can't really think of a whole lot um, like always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, AVS Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the stars Perfume. Links, as always, are in the description below. Um, like I said, request videos, you guys. I definitely want to do what you guys want to see, so request me some videos, and I will do it for you guys. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.